each and every culture in the world, each and every civilization has these notions, myths, superstitions of entities that exist beyond the human world. This is universal. No civilization, primitive or modern, advanced or in the jungle, doesn't matter, exists, except that they believe in something beyond this physical world. And they have different names for them. In English, we have the demons and the ghosts and whatnot. There's something that lives in the beyond. And they're very scary. And they're harmful. And there's something you cannot control, but they control you. And it is interesting. You go to the native Indians, they believe this. You go to the Aborigines, they believe this. You go to, even in this day and age, we're living in the 21st century America. Look at Hollywood and how many movies are dedicated to the supernatural, the possessions to, you know, uh, the exorcist and its, you know, genre, you know, all of this to this day, you know, we are supposed to be the pinnacle of civilization. But this notion of some entities or some realities, worlds that are simultaneous to us, but yet not quite our world, right? This is something that is ingrained in all of humanity. Of course, this shows us that the reason why all cultures agree is because it is real, right? From our perspective, we say, the reason why each and every civilization believes in spiritual entities, and they are generally speaking spiritual entities, uh, ghosts or demons or ghouls or whatnot, they believe in them because they are real and these societies experience them. There's a number of series on uh, the uh, sci-fi channels and, and um, other learning networks and whatnot, in which allegedly they interview live people, you know, about what has happened to them. You know, the haunting of such and such. And, and, and the reality is, now these are educated people, you listen to them. Many of them say, I never believed in this stuff. I was a, raised as a very, you know, modern, very educated person. I never believed this could happen. But then what are you going to do when, you know, XYZ begins to happen, right? And from our perspective, we look at all of this, we read all of this, and it fits in perfectly with our worldview. And in all honesty, for the believer, for the mu'min, all of these stories of the other nationalities and other groups should actually increase his or her iman. That in reality, this is a sign of our, of our religion being true. It explains even the supernatural and the paranormal. It explains in complete logic and rationality. When you study the characteristics of the jinn, and you see what is happening in other societies and even in our society, everything is explained.